What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And today, we're going to be hopping into the Theme Chronicle event, and I am going to be using six Sams to destroy my opponents. Luckily, this Theme Chronicle came just in time because I was getting sick and tired of all the meta decks ruining my runs and ranked, and when I tried to go into casuals, I even saw them there, which is pretty crazy. I mean, sweats and, rank and casuals, I guess that kind of defeats the purpose, but either way, we're going to hop in. I've been using this uh, six Sam deck for 10 games now, and basically it's at a 50-50. Right now, I played 10 matches, won five and lost five, but I did have some crappy hands. Either way, this deck works super well if you don't misplay. Again, I'm still learning this thing. If you saw on the channel, I built this a couple days ago, so I'm still learning it. But either way, you guys are going to see some opponent's rage. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it for some more awesome gameplay. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this theme chronicle event because I have been looking forward to this for a while. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I got to play this for as long as I can because all the sweat decks are not going to be in here. Of course, there are still some sweat decks, but either way, it's still way more fun than seeing the same thing over and over again. So let's hop right into it. Alrighty, for our first match, we're going to be going second. And we have a pretty decent hand here. We have a strong hand. Okay, beat troopers. Okay, see? Cool, fun deck that I have not gone up against. So I don't know what they do. So it's a little concerning. But hey, I don't even know what my 6Ms do until I know what I'm doing. So, all right, they're going to max C. But I'm not going to let them have the max C challenge. We're just going to go ahead and hit them with the ash. The Beat Trooper Fly and Sting. It's going to negate my Ash. Okay. So, since we don't want to deal with giving them extra cards, we're not going to. We're just going to go ahead, answer battle, attack them, and pass the turn. Okay. Beat Trooper Sting Lancer. Okay, those go back to the deck, and it gets Special Summon. Gets the formation from his deck. All right. And now, it's his turn. It's his turn to party. So as long as one of my level fours remains on the field, I should be all right. Oh, but the Squire saves both of them. So that's pretty awesome. And now, because I did pitch that, I get to use um, my Defloor. What's that? Floor it? Defloor? Get that monkey back from the graveyard. And now I get to special summon my Shien. Negate Spell or Trap. Gotta love it. And we're gonna beef our Shien up. We're gonna hit him with the Dojo. Okay. It gets Ash. That's all fine. Because we're gonna go ahead and use the United. So we're gonna be able to draw a card. Okay, we still get some special summon. Or normal summon, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> we're gonna get our two tails of the noble knights. Use the effect. Get ourselves the Grandmaster. And go ahead and pitch four and get ourselves a level three. By banishing two six Sams, we get the special summon. Oh, you're going to try to call by the grave. I'm going to hit you with the Shien and negate that bad boy. Oh, I got to love the Shien. Dude, it's so good. So good. Okay, Let's special summon that. Then we're just going to enter battle. Okay, he gets a special summon of Beat Trooper token. That's fine, let's take care of that. And hit him to the face. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Does he have the heart of the cards in him? Does he draw something he needs? No. He surrenders. The Shien would have negated a spell or trap. I mean, if he used try to clear my board, it could have gotten negated. Honestly, the six Ams are insane. So let's hop right in to the next match. For the second match we're going to be going second yet again and we have a hand full of spells okay so what are we going to do we're basically going to get a free board that was insane okay but we're going to set up the united set up the dojo set up the ready fusion and just get ourselves our throwaway warrior we're going to summon that and we're going to link those straight into 
the two tails of a noble knights. Okay, activate the effect. Ah, oh, it gets ashed. Okay. We're not going to be able to get a card to our hand, but we are going to be able to special summon. So we're going to special summon here. And I kind of messed up, to be honest. Either way, we're still going to be able to get some the Fire Flint Lady. Activate the effect. Special summon it. Get our United out. Get another Dojo. Okay. We're going to be able to sink... Uh, link in these into the Shogun. Activate Shogun's effect. Pitch 6M and get Gateway of the Six. And this is basically where it all goes downhill for my opponent. This is insane. Okay, we're going to start off. Get a 6M. Special Summon it. Okay. Get some more counters. And then get another one. Then link those two into another Shogun because I saw that I messed up. So we need some more counters. Now we get to continue from where I messed up. We get the Grandmaster. Special summon the Grandmaster. Get four more tokens. Activate Gateway of the Six. Get a Six M. Special summon that bad boy. Use it again, get more counters. And he surrenders. <laughs> Honestly. A lot of people surrender because it's insane and you sit there for a while and then you're just going to get your face bashed in. So it's pretty crazy. The surrender was basically needed. So let's hop right in to the next match. And for our third match, we're going to be going first. And basically this happens a couple times. We're going to hit them with the United. They're going to max C and we're going to hit the max C with the Ash. You already know. Hit them with the Ash. They do not like that. So, they decide to go ahead and uh, basically end this duel and just surrender. <laughs> Honestly, I hate getting freaking Ashed as well. Especially when you try to max E to get an, gain an advantage and just get Ashed. It infuriates me as well. So, let's hop right into the next one. And for our fourth match, we're going to be going second. Honestly, I've been going second a lot. And that's probably... One of the reasons why I lost half of the matches I played with six amps, but it's all good. Okay, we're gonna go up against some zombies. We're gonna ash straight away. Hit him with the ash because they always hit me with the ash, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, they pass the turn. They don't have a super strong board, so we're gonna go ahead start off with the Shien's dojo. We're gonna instant fusion. Get our throwaway fusion here. Okay, you hit him with the fire lady. And then we're going to go ahead and go straight into the two tails of the noble knights. Activate the effect and we get ash. Okay, fair enough. Fair is fair. But we get called by the grave. Ha, not. This time I have called by the grave in hand. Most of the time I don't. So when I get ash, I just have to sit there and cry. But not this time. Not today, sir. Not today. Okay. We'll get our level three. And then we're going to pitch a one. Special summon it. Hit him with the Grandmaster. Get our Shin's Dojo. Get another single. And we're going to go ahead and go straight into the Barkeon. Because we think that back row is a trap. So we want to be able to negate that thing. We're going to go for the Shogun. Activate Shogun's effect, pitch that, get our gateway of the six. And we're going to keep it down, but we are going to enter battle. Just attack him to the face. So if he were to flip out that possibly trap card, we could negate it with the Barkeon. This deck is full of negates, and that's why I love it so much. The Gazuki. Okay. He hits my Shogun. Okay. But that is all. And I'm not scared of that back row right now, because I do have the Barkeon. Okay, we have the dojo and the gateway, but we don't have any six amps to summon, so we're not going to waste them. Okay, they're going to pitch that. Special summon the spirit master. Okay. That's fine. I guess I can't really do anything about it, so it's all good. Okay. The solitaire. They're going to start getting some plays here. Okay. A level six. Oh, okay. Basically, they just want to crash. Okay. That is all... Fine and dandy. Ah, I knew it was a freaking trap. 
That was a trap all along. I wanted to get rid of my Barkeon. Ooh, the Shin smoke signal. Okay, we're going to start off with that. We don't have to worry about anything in hand. Get the Shin's Dojo. And the Gateway of the Six. So, we're going to summon. Then we're going to banish two Six Ams. Get the Grandmaster back on the board. Get some more counters. Activate Gateway of the Six here. Get our Kazan. And activate Gateway of the Six yet again. Get another one. Special summon it. Then activate Gateway of the Six yet again. And they surrender. <laughs> they never let me finish my combo, but it's it's annoying, I know, because you just have so many plays. Once you have those double spells, you get double counters, it's insane. So let's hop right into the last match. And for our last match, we're gonna be going first, finally. But we don't have the strongest hand, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to start with the Rota. Get the Kizan. Get the Shin Smoke Signal. Get our Kageki. Act, summon it. And go ahead and special summon. We're going to start off with the two tails of Noble Knights. Activate the effect. Get our Fire Flint Lady. We're going to Monster Reborn. Okay, we're going to use the effect, pitch one, we're going to get the Puma, we're going to Synchro Summon straight into the Shien. Oh yeah, gotta love it. The Shien is so strong. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into our Shogun. Activate Shogun's effect, pitch the Fire Lady, get our Gateway of the Six, and activate Gateway of the Six. And pass turn. So we got a negate. And then we also have the ash in hand. So we should be pretty alright. The lightning storm. Okay, we're going to have to negate it. Because we need to save our monsters. Basically, I was thinking that was a, like, a debate. But it wasn't really. Okay. They have a field spell and a face down. And we have a double ash. So I try to summon the double ash. One of the ashes. And I forget that... I can't do anything with it, so that's all good. Okay, we can't attack into that, but we are going to get ourselves. Oh, yeah. The Underworld Goddess. Oh, yeah. Now we're chilling. We're big chilling here. Let's see what he has. Nothing. A face down. Okay. We need a Samurai here. Oh, that's perfect. It's a level 4 as well. So we're going to go ahead, get two counters, attack that, then I hit him in the face with 3,000. Okay. So we're still chilling. He cannot do anything here. Okay. Back and forth. Okay. Face down the fence. Okay. Okay. We get another one. Another one. We're going to activate Gateway of the Six here. Get ourselves the Fuma. We're just going to enter battle. Okay. Hit him in the face. Alright, now he's basically bleeding out here. We're just going to see if he has the heart of the cards. Luckily, he did not. He left me a full board, and he's actually going to let me finish him off. So, what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of a combo going. Nothing too crazy. Just because I do want to use the deck to its full potential. Get the Shien. Okay. Use the gateway again. Get ourselves the Grand Master. Special summon it. And we're just going to go ahead and end them with the Shien. The big boss monster of the deck. So, this deck's super fun. Super insane. The event's super fun. I love the back and forth gameplay. Let me know what you guys think of the event so far. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help your boy reach his 2023 goal of 10,000 subscribers before the year ends. But I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace.